What's up guys? It's Friday and I am currently on the floor. I was trying to do some ab workouts and honestly, y'all, my abs, they just haven't been the same since two babies. Like they just, they're weak. I'm weak. I'm on the floor. Um, but I did a quick cardio, but abs kill me like they do, but I wanted to get a quick workout in. Um, and then I just figured I would kind of take you guys with me this, um, little journey I'm on this weekend and what's going on in my life. So first I have finally decided to submit myself to some like legit agencies. I'm really nervous about it. I've never really like, I used to work with a really small agency here in Knoxville, but that was years ago and they just got like local jobs. But I, you know, dreamt of being a model my whole life. And I said, hey, it's time to go after it with some um, cheering on from a model friend of mine. I'm very blessed to through this um essay swim search thing to have met other professional models and one of them was like I really think you need to get signed I was like what um I was really flattered by that but um so she is actually helping me she's gonna look at the digitals I take myself today and give me some contacts and so I'm gonna hopefully I mean I really hope I get signed by someone that would be really amazing um so I thought I would show you guys like me taking my digitals and stuff like that and go through the submission process that way when I do get signed I can update you guys on it and maybe this can help someone else that's trying to break into the modeling agency like know what you're supposed to do because I just want to pay forward that um that other models help her helping me I should pay it forward in the world so hopefully this can help some other models breaking in um so I figured I would take you guys along with me on that and um yeah just a little vlog day in the life of all right, guys, so I am about to take some of my digitals. What I did is I went on Wilhelmina and I looked at some of the other digitals of other models. That's what my friend suggested to do. Um, and then I just took a shower, dried my hair naturally, and um, I guess I'm just going to take these pictures. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. <laughs> buy a monitor for my camera so I can turn it around and, like see what I'm doing because like that one I had my chin up just a little too high so I'm gonna try and put it down you're not I'm a photographer so I know this but I don't know if you can tell but there's like a curved look to the camera to the pictures like it's like it looks like it's almost curved because of the lens so I always go down here and I click the lens correction and equal profile it has like lens correction and it straightened it out so I'm gonna turn this off and let you see if you have a professional camera see then that's something you probably want to do. So I'm going to go through and choose my favorites. And then hey I'll guys, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, how I submitted those digitals and the whole process from there. The first thing I did was send my digitals to my friend that is a model. She's been signed, um, she said she's been signed at Wilhelmina since she was like 17, so for a long, long time now. And so she had some good advice on how to take my digitals um, she basically said to choose a really clean background, make sure you're that you're wearing no to minimal makeup and that you dress really plain. So I did everything she said and then I sent her my digitals to, you know, get her opinion. And she said that she thought they were great, which made me happy. So I got them all ready and I decided to submit them via the websites of a bunch of different agencies. So first, I made a list of all the agencies that I would want to be signed to, and I included all of the big names because, I mean, if you're going after your dream, like, why not go big, right? Go big or go home. So I'm shooting for the stars, aiming for the highest I can go. My list included things like Wilhelmina, 
Ford, IMG, Amex. Also submitted to some local agencies like in Nashville and in Atlanta as well because that's close to me. I would love, love, love to be signed by an agency in New York. I don't know why. I just, that's just what I've been drawn to. So agencies, what they usually do, I guess, are sometimes have open calls and you can attend those and bring your portfolio and things like that. But right now, because of COVID, none of the agencies are having open calls and they are only taking submissions via their website. And they are also scouting on Instagram, which I will get to you. So the first thing I did was do all of my submissions on the website. So I went to every single website of all of the agencies I wanted to be signed for and went to their submission page where you fill out all of your information, your measurements, things like that, and you upload your digital. <laughs> what I think kind of honestly sucks is that I'm only 5'4". So like, obviously I know I can't do runway. Um, runway models need to be 5'8", 5'9", if not taller than that, I'm 5'4". So I'm aiming for commercial and print. Um, you don't really get to say that on your, any, your submission forms. I mean, I'm sure that that's obvious to them, like, but I don't want them to think that I'm like completely clueless. But I really hate that in this day and age of like body positivity, and you know changing beauty standards and stuff that height is still such a requirement for models it seems really crazy to me because especially and this is what i don't get about modeling in general and if you guys follow me on instagram you know i'm all about body positivity and i'm all about changing beauty standards and you know making sure that everyone knows everything about them is beautiful even if it's not what you see in magazines because it's ridiculous because if you think about it i talk about how i have stretch marks all over my stomach from my babies well, 50 to 90% of women have stretch marks, but how often do you see that in magazine apps? And then the average height of a woman in America is 5'4 to 5'5. Models are always tall. The average size of a woman in America is 14 to 16, and models are never that size. So it's not, I, I don't know, it's really weird how like advertisements aren't representative of what women really are. And I feel like women want to see people that really look like them, you know? There are thin models and they are beautiful. There are curved models, they are beautiful. There's mid-size like me and we're beautiful, but there's not a whole lot of space for us in the industry for us short mid-size models. Um, and I'm hoping to change that, you know? I'm hoping to break in and make a difference um, because I am a size eight to 10 and I am five four. And I think, you know, I don't necessarily fall into the curve category, but I don't fall into the thin category. So. I don't know, I just wanna be like, I hope that by signing models like me, that we make more way for more women like us in the industry and help change beauty standards. That's my goal also in all of this. It's not just about being a model for me. I wanna make lasting change and like really make an impact. That's the only thing that made me really nervous about signing um, online because they didn't get to meet me. They don't get to talk to me and like, unless they choose me from like these pictures and stuff. So they see my height and I hope that that doesn't, I don't know, make anyone um, decide not to sign me. I also like, love to do acting and stuff like that too. So I don't know. Um, some of the agencies represent that kind of talent and the others don't. So I might need to look more into agencies that do represent that kind of talent. Then the second thing I did was go to all of the Instagram accounts of every single one of the agencies that I applied for because they do ask for your Instagram handle. So I made sure that I followed all of them because they're gonna check, you know, they're gonna say like, you don't even follow me. Like, why would you wanna be signed by me? But then a lot of these agencies have a separate Instagram account for their scouting. And that Instagram account is usually tagged in their description. So I made sure to follow all of those scouting Instagram accounts as well. Then all, they all use a hashtag for their scouting. So Wilhelmina, for instance, is Willie Scouts. So I made a list of all the hashtags of all of these agencies that I wanted to be scouted by. And I made sure that I've been posting those hashtags to every single one of my photos. I've been tagging the agency scouting page as well in my pictures, which may seem really overboard, but they're gonna look at my profile and I want them to see that I'm serious. And I want them to know that like, I'm gonna go after this with everything I have. Like I'm not gonna just half-ass it, you know? And then the last thing I did was that I went and I looked at other models' Instagrams, especially ones that, um, I watched this girl, her name is Aisha. 
I'm gonna say that Aisha Porter, but I don't know if that's for sure. I will tag her, I'll link her video in the description, but she was talking about how she got signed. She was discovered on Instagram of all places. And a lot of the models videos I watched talked about how Instagram is so important and you can leverage your following and things like that and how the pictures you post are so important. And so I realized that if I want something in life, I need to act like the person that has it. That is what manifestation is all about. So I can't keep posting, you know, just pictures of my kids and like regular old selfies or pictures of my house and things like that. If I want to be a model, I need to post more modeling pictures on my Instagram. So I went and I looked at all the pictures that that girl and other models had posted before they were scouted and before they were signed and what they do now so that I could emulate them and know what kind of pictures I need to be taking of myself, what I need to be posting, what those agencies are looking for. So that's another step that I am taking. that all of this advice helps you guys if you are looking to be signed and if you are going after your dream. I will keep you guys updated in another video on whether I get signed or not or when I get signed. I'm gonna go ahead and just claim that now. One more thing I wanted to touch on was taking your digitals. I took mine with a Nikon D750 because I'm a photographer so I had that camera. But when I went online and I looked at the digitals of all these other models, they had taken it on the Wilhelmina website they had taken theirs with their iPhones, a lot of them had. So don't feel like you have to have professional digitals taken. Go to the website of like say Wilhelmina and you can see all the digitals. You just go to a certain model, click on that model's name, click digitals and you can see what their digitals look like so you have an idea of what you need to take. That was a piece of advice that my friend had given me and it really helped me out. But just make sure you have good lighting and things like that. I'll probably do a whole nother video on how to take pictures because I'm a photographer. I feel like I can probably give a little insight into that. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this advice helped you guys. And um, yeah, I'll update you when I get signed. <laughs>